Leadership is defined as the art of motivating a group of people to act towards achieving a common goal. Community leadership is leadership whose purpose is in, for, and by the betterment of a community. Our mission in junior leadership of Coastal Alabama is to provide high school juniors opportunities to build leadership skills through seminars, workshops, and interaction with local community leaders and decision makers in order to inspire our youth to evoke positive change in our community. Here at the Coastal Alabama Business Chamber, our job is to support our business members, and therefore, we created the Junior Leadership Program as our chance to build tomorrow's leaders today. We select around 25 participants each year who are juniors in our local high schools to go through our comprehensive community leadership program. We meet once per month and take them out of school for the day to learn about various aspects of their community. One thing that makes our program unique is that we let the students choose whether or not to apply. We do not recruit from a parental perspective. We come to the schools to meet the students and present to them and let them choose whether or not they wish to take an application home. This is an important part of our process as we only want to select students that we know have an honest desire to participate. Well, I joined the Junior Leadership Program so that I could get a behind-the-scenes tour on all the uh, career paths that the community has to offer for me. I joined the Junior Leadership Program in order to broaden my horizons. I joined the Junior Leadership Program uh, just to look at the community and see how uh, certain businesses affect the way that I live my everyday life. Our program is currently funded solely through local business partnerships and sponsorships and is free for the students to participate. We don't want someone's personal finances to be an issue when deciding to participate in our program. We recruit various businesses to provide the lunches each month and to provide us a location for the speakers and tours. We also recruit sponsorships to pay for the transportation needed for the students to get from place to place. These students get an all-access backstage pass into what is really happening in their local community. With an inside look into government offices, fire and police stations, hospitals, manufacturing facilities, tourism attractions, and so much more. They get to hear from our various community leaders, business owners, entrepreneurs, elected officials, and volunteers. In addition to their monthly class days, each student is expected to complete a variety of volunteer hours of community enrichment activities. So our CEAs are community enrichment activities and they're meant for us to get out into the community and um, become more involved and they help us explore new opportunities. They then complete a brief report on their experience and what they learned. In this way, we are encouraging them to put into practice the things that they are learning during their class days. We also have the students present throughout the year at events such as Rotary and Kiwanis luncheons. We want them to gain confidence speaking in front of a group of adults. This year our students got to be an official focus group through a partnership with the Cousteau Foundation in developing a new coastal themed ecotourism center. They got to brainstorm on center names, taglines, and programs the center might offer. This was their opportunity to make a real tangible impact on a local community project by offering their input and ideas. They also got to work behind the scenes of our community's annual National Shrimp Festival that draws upwards of 250,000 attendees each year. We are lucky enough to live on the beautiful Gulf Coast, but this means that our students are growing up on a very small island. The typical teenager's first thought after high school graduation is how can I get off this island? and how far away can I go? Of course, they may want to go away for school, but our hopes is that through our program, they will learn that this island has a lot to offer and they will choose to return to build their careers and raise their families here. A student can only aspire to be what they know. If they don't know it exists, how can they aspire to attain it? Uh, I learned a lot of good leadership skills and job opportunities and how close they are, honestly. My favorite thing was going out in the community and being exposed to all the leadership and talking with CEOs. I think that it'll benefit me in the fact that now that I'm more aware about my community and um, in better understanding of how the whole city's run and everything, it's going to allow me to make um, better decisions as a citizen and be able to um, form connections with uh, leaders in this community.